Welcome to Cambodia. Hi, I'm Gaz, and I'm on a mission to train martial arts in every country in the world. So far, I've trained at 48 gyms in seven countries, exploring the culture, meeting new people, and of course, training martial arts along the way. In this video, I'm going to be exploring Kung Khmer, giving you a taste of Cambodia's martial arts culture. Watch along as I explore two of Phnom Penh's best gyms, visit an epic local fight night, and meet some awesome people along the way. Don't forget to hit subscribe to come along on the journey. Good morning everybody. I am super excited today as I've got my first session booked in Phnom Penh at Cambodia Top Team. I'm staying in Mad Monkey Hostel. It's about a 30 to 40 minute tuk-tuk drive away, so quite a mission across the city. So I better get a move on. How much? That back. There, there I'm back here. I'm wait, I'm wait, wait for one hour. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? I'll give you 30,000. made it to Cambodia top team. I am well early though, which is annoying, as when I was traveling through the city last night getting to my hostel, it took like double the time it would say. So I gave myself plenty of time, and of course, I'm gonna be sitting here for ages. There's nobody here yet, but the gym. Hello. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No, no rush. There's nobody here at the moment, but the gym does look pretty sick, to be honest. And the ring's got like floodlights above it, so I don't know if they do events here or something. Hey. Hello. So I guess that's my training today, but yeah, it looks, looks really cool. Uh, have you ever trained before, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, may I know your uh, purpose of training? Like you prefer more sparring, you prefer more pad work or more technique so that I can tell the coach? Uh, yeah, so like pad, pad work. And sparring? And a bit of sparring, yeah. It's nerve wracking visiting and training in a new country for the first time. But after a quick warm up, I began to settle into the session and all of my nerves disappeared. The main part of the class started with a round of bag work to loosen up and it felt like my coach was using it as an opportunity to assess my experience as he was shouting out different shots for me to throw. I actually felt quite good on the pads as my cardio has definitely improved and my punches had a sharpness about them, for me anyway. As the rounds progressed, my coach built up the intensity and started adding defensive counters in different scenarios. We also worked a lot on closing the distance to land heavy elbows, as well as turning the hip over on my right kick. Ah, three rounds of pad work. Really, really good technical. Um, and we've got, I don't know if this will make sense, but like really good synergy on the pads. Like it feels like a really good pad holder. And now, looks like we're gonna get a couple of rounds of sparring in, which is really good. As, hello. Yeah, as I've not done any sparring for a while. Sparring was controlled and technical with both of us going about 50% and pulling our punches. I could feel how relaxed my coach was and it felt he was always two moves ahead of whatever strike I threw. And of course, it wouldn't be a private class without being smashed by a tie pad whilst doing crunches. So as you can see behind me, the gym has loads of active fighters who fight uh, like one championship. There's a Rawai Thailand staging belt here. So really, really active gym with loads of fighters. You can tell by the quality of training and obviously probably one of the nicer facilities that I've been to in Laon, Cambodia. So yeah, really, really good training. Hey guys, so I am super stoked as we are going to watch our first Cambodian kickboxing event. Hey! So, I actually met a guy in Siem Reap and trained at his gym and he is the president or promoter of this show tonight. So he sorted us out some free tickets, although I do think they're free anyway, and told us to come down. So, I may seem a little bit steaming, that's because I am. We've been at a pool party all day but we're on our way to the Chip Mong Mall in Phnom Penh to watch Kung Kerma. First, we've got a race across the city, 
get ourselves there and then we can sit down, sink a few beers and soak up the traditional Cambodian martial arts atmosphere. So we've arrived and it is way better than expected. There's like tens of thousands of people sitting on tables and standing outside a massive mall in Phnom Penh. The fights haven't started yet, but it looks like a proper festival atmosphere here. There's beer, there's food. It's only local, so we're the only Westerners we've seen. So I'm super stoked to have a look at the fights tonight. Obviously you've got the ring in the middle, but you've got like five or six big screens everywhere. So wherever you're sitting, you can see the fight. The drinks here are also very reasonable, like real local prices, local event. I think it's like 2,000, which is 50 cents or like 40p for a beer. And Abby's Red Bull and the vodka we snuck, snuck in from the shop are like a dollar or less. So it's proper cheap, proper authentic and proper local prices. The energy is absolutely crazy here. The place is filling up. There's kids with light up balloons, there's food, there's beers, there's loads of families. And yeah, we're waiting for the first fight to start. So, oh, and I think it might be starting. There's something very special about the atmosphere at a live fight night. For me, the best part was getting in amongst it in the crowd, meeting the locals and sinking a few beers. It was completely different from some Muay Thai events I've been to that were purely put on to make money from tourists. So the crowds are going absolutely crazy. The fights have just started. I think the good thing about this is it's a completely free event. So everyone's having a great time. We're soaking up the atmosphere. And yeah, this is why we travel. Now we've made really good friends with the family opposite of. They've got three little kids that are like running riot, but they're so funny. But yeah. There's no, we don't know how to speak a word to each other, but we keep cheersing about 10 times. <laughs> like every fight, so yeah. It's a proper interaction with the locals. <laughs> So we've had four fights so far, all have ended in a knockout, but they've been really close fights, really good matches, and yeah, really good atmosphere so far. The beers kept flowing and before you knew it, the main event had arrived. We got as close to the front as possible to watch a pretty one-sided fight where the Khmer fight had destroyed a foreigner. But overall, the show was great and one of the best experiences of my trip so far. I am just on my way now to my second Kung Khmer session in Phnom Penh, which is, I think it's called Kingdom Fight Club or Kingdom Fight Gym. So yeah, super stoked, super excited. Got a little bit of a sore head from last night watching the uh, kickboxing live, but I'm sure by the end of the session, I'll be feeling a lot better anyway. So I'm traveling indefinitely doing this challenge of obviously visiting a martial arts gym in every country in the world. So there's a fair few boozy nights thrown in there as well. But my rule is if I go out and have a big one, I've still got to get up in the morning and train, which is what I'm doing today. And usually I'm in bed by 12 anyway, so it's not like 
these 18 year old kids that you see in hostels where they're bloody up till 3, 4, 5 a.m. So I've just got here and I'm wrapping my hands now. Really, really cool little gym. It's kind of like a townhouse building with like three or four floors and every floor has like a different training area or a ring or a studio in. But yeah, really, really awesome setup actually. Very unusual from what I've trained at before. A technical masterclass is how I would describe my session at Kingdom Fight Gym. Every round we worked on a different combination with emphasis on low kicks and teeps. <laughs> really good training so far. Just working, technical pad work. Uh, teeps, knees, kicks, but really, really good technical training. Enjoying the session, burning off last night's antics as well, so yeah. The second half of the pad work was all about my left kick and turning my hip over properly. I must admit, I've struggled with this since taking a break from Muay Thai after COVID and putting on a few pounds. Yeah. We finished the classes with some conditioning exercises before cooling down and calling it a day. That was a sick class, learned a lot, sweated out yesterday's madness and would highly recommend dropping down, so yeah, really, really good. So far, Cambodia's martial arts scene has been amazing. If you're in Phnom Penh, make sure you check out the gyms featured in this video and 100% go and watch a live fight night. Don't forget to like, subscribe and come back for next week's video where I'll be heading north to explore Siem Reap's martial arts scene.